TWRP. What is TWRP? It stands for Team Win Recovery Project. It is a custom touch recovery that is GUI based. TWRP allows the following features. Backups of partitions in TAR or RAW image format. Restore backups from internal storage, external SD storage or OTG devices. Custom firmware installations. Include smaller modifications like routing. Today TWRP is the leading custom recovery for Android phones. So let's go through practical. For installing TWRP we need some software. Which is all in one tool. You can download the file from this website. Also link is given in the description. Always use the latest version. Another file we need is TWRP. You can download as per your mobile models. You can download TWRP file in image file or zip file format. We download and use both types of files. Now we need to activate developer mode. For that go to setting. About phone. Click build number 5 6 times. It will activate the developer option. Now go back. System. Developer option. Then enable USB debugging. Now connect your mobile via cable to computer. It will ask for allow USB debugging. Just allow it. In tool all in one interface device status is showing ADB and authorized. Click on check to make ADB device. Also in previous video. I already mentioned how to install tool all in one. Now next step is boot the device into fast boot. For that click on reboot recovery. In the Android screen you can see it has booted to fast boot. Now we are going to sending TWRP file to fast boot. For that click on recovery flasher and device router. Select manual mode. And then click on image browse bottom and select the location where you kept TWRP image file. Uncheck delete zip from the phone. And check only boot it. And click on flash. From tool all in one we sent TWRP file to phone. Keep it mind still we didn't flash it. Only we just sent to device and booted from TWRP. Now remove the phone connection from the PC. I had sent TWRP image file in my flash drive. Now I will inset it on my mobile and flash TWRP from there. Click on install. Select storage. USB storage and then OK. Select the zip file for TWRP. Swipe to flash. After flash complete. Click on reboot. Then click recovery or boot to recovery. It will again boot to TWRP recovery. We had successfully flash custom recovery TWRP. Before boot we need to do one more thing. We need to wipe our data. For that click on wipe. Format data. Type YES then OK. It will wipe all data. Now you can reboot to system. It will take 5 minutes to fully boot. If you have any issue while flashing the TWRP. You can use same version of TWRP which I am using. If you like my video please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.